Hello, I'm Chris. Welcome back to Fragmental. Thanks for joining me. Now, a lot of you have been saying in the comments recently, Chris, when will you be reviewing the brand new Versace Eros Energy? Well, the time has come. I managed to pick this up at Geneva Airport, so I'm going to unbox it and let you know what I think. I gotta admit, I'm not a massive owner of the Versace Eros fragrances. I've had a few samples, I've smelled them all. I've really enjoyed them all. The EDT is obviously a bit of a, a modern classic, very easy to wear, a bit of a dumb reach, but still very good, very vibrant, bit of minty green apple, very wearable, quite youthful, full of energy. So much so that I'm not sure how much more energy they could put into the Versace Eros fragrance. But we're going to find out. We're going to find out if Eros Energy can be even more energised than the original EDT. Eros Flame had some pink pepper, so that was a spicy, fresh fragrance. I've noticed this has some pink pepper, so maybe we've got something a little bit similar to Flame. Maybe it's got some of that original EDT DNA. We're going to find out. The other thing that I've also heard is, and this could just be one of those things that one person says and then everyone else jumps on the bandwagon, but I've read a lot of comments where people have said this is Versace's take on the Aventus DNA. A designer brand bringing out their own version of the Aventus smell? That would never happen. Surely, Mont Blanc, surely that would never happen. Right, let's get this unboxed, give it a little smell. I walked through Geneva Airport 10 days ago and this was not on the shelves but when I was returning just yesterday. This was on the shelves, so obviously I picked it up because I thought quite a few of you would appreciate uh, a little bit of a heads up on whether this is a decent fragrance or not. So we're going all yellow for the theme on this. It's it's the colour of, well, pineapples and lemons and other things. Let's give it a little spray, find out if it is a hit or a miss. Okay, first off, I'd say this is definitely a more grown-up version of the Eros DNA. Very juicy, very fresh, very citrusy, very realistic citrus fruits, orangey, lemony. It is a cacophony of very bright, neon-lit, juicy citrus. And actually, reminds me of Aaron Terrence Hughes' Supernova in that way, this big, old, juicy, fruity, citrusy, bomb of a fragrance. Pretty strong, actually. Lots of depth to it, some woodiness, some spiciness, but overwhelmingly, it, it's fruits. Now it's becoming like a that really strong, concentrated, rindy type of fruit. You know, citrus rind, I'm, I'm getting that as well, which is adding to the depth and, and, and the power. It smells like a pretty powerful fragrance. Definitely not weak. It's a fruit bomb, though. You've got to like fruit to enjoy this fragrance. Personally, if a fragrance is very fruity, I do like it to be balanced out and offset with other elements in the fragrance, so it isn't just a massive fruity bomb. I like other things in there as well. Some herbs, some, some spices, and whilst this does have a little bit of spiciness. It's, it's not massively spicy at this stage. Full of energy though, I'll give it that. I think they've named this perfectly. This is just buzzing with citrus fruit energy. Would have liked maybe a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of vanilla with it, just to add an element of, of something else so it isn't just all fruit. Maybe this will change in the dry down. It reminds me a little bit of um, we used to get refresher chews. It's like a candy, a, a sweet here in the UK. Very tangy, sour, full of energy, a little bit sort of sherbety tasting with, with a bit of lemon creaminess with it. It's the fragrance version of a refresher bar or a refresher chew, which is good. It is full of energy. Maybe the depth in this, because it does seem to have some power, some, some clackers, there's definitely quite a, a weight behind the fragrance. Maybe a synthetic version of an oak moss. It doesn't smell like that really heavy, dense forest floor oak moss like you can get in some fragrances like maybe uh, Nishani's Hachivat. It isn't to that extent and I know that some people can find that a little too much, a little too overwhelming. So it doesn't go there. If there is oak moss, it, it's providing the job of depth but it's not creating anything that is obnoxious in any way. It's a really nice rounded fruity citrus fragrance, very vibrant. But at this stage, it is fruit. I'm gonna see 
if anything changes into the dry down. There are my very first impressions. I'm gonna go away for probably a day, give this a couple of wearings in different situations and see if it dries down a little differently, see if it develops from this bomb of citrus fruits and, and rinds and we'll see we'll see if it changes but for me right now whilst i can tell it's a nicely put together fragrance it's really well done you have to like something that is pure citrus fruit right i'm gonna go away give this a wearing and then i will report back and we're back 24 hours later so i can give you a little bit more information about how this fragrance performed how it developed when i think you could wear it and if i enjoyed it oh and there's one very important question. Does it smell like the big A? Aventa. Let's start with the good. This opens strong. It opens with big energy, which is great because it's called energy. As I mentioned, big burst of citruses, real rindy, realistic smelling citruses, an energetic citrus explosion. If you like that kind of thing, you're gonna love the opening to this. I do like that kind of thing. I do prefer it to be balanced with other things as well, not just a big old fruity citrus bomb. But if you love big old citrusy fruity bombs, you're going to love the opening of this because that's exactly what you get. It's refreshing, it's invigorating, it's mouth-wateringly juicy actually, so this would be great to wear in the summer, which is fantastic, seeing as the summer is just about to end. Strange time to release this one, Versace? Maybe. All right, so after this big citrus explosion, what happens? Does it get any better? And it does become a little more balanced in that the citruses do fade and tone down slightly. Not quite as prominent, they're not quite as strong, not quite as up your nostrils. But other than fading, it doesn't really become that much more balanced. Like there's no woodiness that comes through, the black currant doesn't seem to come through, the pink pepper doesn't really seem to balance out that much it just becomes a slightly more faded version of what it was in the opening but it did seem to level off a little bit so the dry down i did find that it settled into its character a little bit more big juicy explosion to begin with and then it just kind of gently fades over that time didn't really find it to be that similar to any of the other eros fragrances the edt or flame anything like that this is its own thing it could have been released under a different line, didn't have to be in the Eros. Performance was decent, you're gonna get a massive bit of projection in that opening juicy burst for about 30 minutes and then as I said it does sort of fade away slightly. I was probably getting maybe six to seven hours where I was smelling this and then after that it was still there, still detectable but had to go in close, it did become more of a skin scent. I think warmer weather in the summer would be the ideal time to wear this. It would be great as an office scent, perhaps quite safe, quite easy to wear, it's not going to offend anybody. At this stage you're probably guessing what my overall opinions on this fragrance are. I like it it's fine i've enjoyed wearing it nothing wrong with it smells good quality performance is is pretty decent i could wear it for a lot of things it's quite versatile but it's not blowing me away we have smelled things like this before it's a citrus fragrance and that's about it really nicely done nothing more nothing less if you like the sound of that if you don't have any other easy to wear juicy citrus fragrances then you might like to check this one out i've got a lot so this one hasn't really made me think, oh, this is the citrus fragrance I will choose over all my other citrus aromatic fragrances. All right, let's talk about the Aventus comparison. Is this Versace's inspired take on the Aventus DNA? And I'm going to say no. I don't think it is. Yes, there are similarities. It's got these citruses that Aventus has, but there are things that really make Aventus Aventus, things that give Aventus its distinctive character, like the pineapple, like that woody birch backbone. The balance of those two things really make Aventus what it is. This doesn't have that. This doesn't have those distinctive Aventus characteristics. It doesn't have the pineapple. It doesn't have the birch. It's got the black currant. It's got some citruses, but other than that, I'd say that's where the comparisons end. Yes, it's in the same sort of category, the same sort of genre, but I don't think that this is Versace's take on the Aventus DNA. It certainly does not smell anywhere near as close to Aventus as, say, Mont Blanc's Explorer. And I gotta say that I do prefer Mont Blanc Explorer. I mentioned I like my fragrances to be balanced, not just a massive 
fruity explosion and Explorer is more balanced, just like Aventus is more balanced. It's got the fruitiness balanced with the woods and the vanilla. So Explorer, Aventus, more balanced fragrances, better fragrances in my opinion than this because they're doing something a little more interesting. They've got a bit more structure, a bit more complexity and a bit more backbone, which brings in that attitude that I always like. No, I don't think it's an Aventus clone. If Versace did think, well, let's do something similar to the very popular Aventus and Mont Blanc Explorer. Maybe they've taken that as their starting point and, and done their own thing, but I don't think it's close enough to those fragrances to say, yes, this is their version of it. It's its own thing. I'm being a little down on this because it's not really anything new. It's not really anything that's that's blown my mind or excited me because I have smelled this kind of thing before. There will be people out there that love this fragrance. If you like the fruitiness, if you like that sherbet refresher, chew, candy, fizzy, a little bit creamy, very citrusy, fruity, a little bit tangy, a little bit sour, that kind of energy, then you're gonna love particularly the opening of this fragrance. For me, there is a little bit of something missing from the fragrance. I think Versace could have put something in here that made it more distinctive, that took it away from the citrusy smell of so many other fragrances that we've smelled. They could have done something that made it a little more unique, gave it a little more character. Not a bad fragrance by any stretch of the imagination. For what it is, it's been done really well. For my personal tastes, you may be the same as me, you may not be the same as me, but I would have liked something a little more distinctive. For example, I think some really cool, fresh spices could have worked really well in here. Perhaps some cardamom, perhaps a few herbs would have just given it a little more punchiness and a little more backbone. So that's my take on Eros Energy. It's good, but it's not amazing. I'd like to hear what you think of this fragrance. I know it's brand new, but it is being rolled out. You can buy it in quite a few places. So if you've smelled this, I'd like to know your thoughts. Do you think it is the best Versace Eros fragrance that has been released, or is it just another generic designer citrusy scent? Please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, if you found it useful, hit like, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do all that, you'll see me in the next video. And trust me, you don't want to miss it. Another new one coming up.